Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to programmatically dismiss and listen to events for a keyboard. So first off we're just going to add a text input. We're not going to have any variable associated with it because we don't actually need to do anything with the variable. We're just wanting to trigger the keyboard to open so that we can dismiss it programmatically. I'm going to need to import that text input because I haven't imported it yet. And fix that little typo. You can see I've sort of got a text input, it's not very obvious. I always like to style mine. I'm going to do a very basic styling that will make it very clear to you guys um, and see it on screen. Giving it a margin, a padding so that the text isn't right to the border. A border so that you can sort of see where the bounds of the text input are. Um, a border width. And finally I'll align self stretch which will make the text input take up the entire width of the screen. I'm going to go ahead and apply that style to my text input. You can see it looks a little bit better now. If I click on that, it opens up the keyboard. Next up, I'm going to want to display on screen whether the keyboard is open or shut. I'm going to have a state variable to store this. So I've got a keyboard state state variable, and then I've got a setter for the state variable. And when that's called, it will trigger the re-render when the keyboard state variable changes state. I'm going to set the initial state to keyboard closed because when you first open an app, you wouldn't expect the keyboard to be open. I'm just going to display that keyboard state. If I want to go a step further, I could actually use um, keyboard from React Native to actually get the um, whether the keyboard was open or closed, but I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to show you now is I'm going to show you adding a button which can dismiss the keyboard. So I'm adding a title dismiss and on press I'm going to call keyboard.dismiss. It's going to call that function and trigger the keyboard to close. So I click into my text input and then Dismiss closes my keyboard. But you can see that keyboard state didn't update. So what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add a listener to the keyboard opening and closing. So I'm going to use effect to do this. With use effect, I'm going to basically call these function, this function exactly once because I'm not listening to any um, changes on any state variables. So it's going to execute once when the component mounts. I'm going to go keyboard.addListener and specify the event. I want keyboard did show and keyboard did hide because those are the ones that show on both iOS and Android. The other keyboard events are just for iOS. And then once it does show, I'm going to set the state and that's going to reflect on screen. So that's what I'm going to do when it's showing. If it's um, hiding, I'm going to update the state to set the keyboard to be closed. I'm keeping a reference of the sub because I'm going to want to unsubscribe if the component did unmount, and that's just um, good best practice, cleaning up your subscriptions. So I'm setting keyboard close because we're listening to keyboard did hide. And then the return for use effect, the function you pass to use effect, is actually the cleanup. So when the component's unmounting. So here I'm just going to go ahead and remove the subscriptions because when the component unmounts, I don't want to be um, having the subscription in place anymore. Cool. So I enter it, it says keyboard open. And if I go ahead and hit return, it says keyboard closed. Alternatively, I can programmatically dismiss it and it'll still say keyboard closed once I do that. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have, please like and subscribe for more content. All my code will be available on GitHub.